Hello everybody, I am Alego, and let's continue playing Pokemon White. And in this part, we're going to take on the last two trainers before we fight the Elite Four. So, the first of... the first one we're going to fight in this part, geez, is here in Castellia City. You take the path to the right of the Pokemon Center, go up to the 22nd floor, which is your only floor option, final destination, and you go down to the bottom of the floor. And you talk to this guy at the right of the desk. He's become I've become strong, he can tell, so let us begin our battle with who exactly? Well he's a veteran it seems. Game Freak Morimoto. Well, Game Freak's the developer of this game, so. Hmm. Well actually this guy is based on a real life person, Shigeki Morimoto, who has worked on the Pokemon game since the beginning, so. I guess it's just being egocentric or something. <laughs> no. Uh, I guess he's just uh, decided to put himself in this game. So yeah, kind of interesting that uh, the ca this character's in here. And his first Pokemon is a Life Hard. I have nothing to add to that except this. Nah. Okay, so his next Pokemon is Swoobat. Joy. His, his team isn't actually all that great, but they are very high level, so... <laughs> level 75 at least, so... Yeah, you might want to train up for this fight quite a bit. Maybe level 68 at least, maybe? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't any, actually tested the waters. <laughs> Anyways, Swoobat here, it's a good special attack of lean, it's rather fast, but as you can see his defense is not all like great, so yeah, down. Down, down, deeper and down or something. <laughs> I have a fire type, but it's in down the water type next, so how comes Simipor, the water? Monkey, one of the three elemental monkeys introduced in this generation. And as I mentioned before, their stats, uh, the monkey, the stats of the monkeys are all uh, the same. They're all identical. Uh, they're rather good offensively, uh, at least uh, uh, definitely earlier in the game. And they're certainly fast, uh, but their defenses are really ra lackluster. So uh, if you can survive one hit from them and just get a hit in of your own, then. They go bye bye quite quickly. And now here comes out the second monkey, Joy. Guess what? He's got all three of the monkeys. I, feel, I swear, these monkeys are just so common. I mean, like, there's always a tree of them, like, everywhere. It's crazy. Monkeys are taking over. The apes are taking over. Anyway, Simiser. I never quite understood Simiser because. It's a fire monkey, and we've already had a fire monkey from Generation 4, it was a, and it was a starter too, Chimchar. You darn Chimchar rip off. And Chimchar was actually pretty cool. I never actually used him as a starter, but I probably it, I was actually thinking of restarting Generation 4 quite soon, so maybe I should choose Chimchar as a starter. That'd be cool. Anyways, from Generation 4, let's go back to Generation 5 here, because this is his sub streaker. Yeah, it's, it's definitely fast, and I, guess, I think it's a good attacker, but a uh, quick earthquake will put it in place. Thing to note, though, is uh, it's probably his best Pokemon. Uh, but not only that, it's level 77, one of the three highest uh, level Pokemon you can actually face in this game. So that's interesting, I guess. <laughs> Again, I just call everything interesting for some reason. And his last Pokemon is... The Simus Age of the Grass Monkey. Tufty ears, and he's got like... I just... yeah, that, that style of hairdo, that's just... I'm not entirely sure what that's called, but... <laughs> Anyways... And after all, I am the strongest and the greatest, is that what he just said? Wow, that's so egotistical. <laughs> he really is being an egotist. Anyway, come back again tomorrow. Yes, you can come back and fight him any day you like for extra experience if you so wish. If you so desire. If you so desire. Anyways, I will see you in Della Town for our second battle of the part. And here we are in Undella Town, and oh boy, it's time. Remember what I mentioned there was a optional boss here in this house? Well, we're gonna do it, and it's probably my favorite fight in the game. Yes, it's Cynthia. One of the Kelly resemblance. It's surprising to meet another trainer who has intense eyes like that tra Pokemon trainer. What's your name? Okay, I'll remember that. Elliot, nice to meet you. I'm Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer, too, like you. A champion, too? Uh, did you forget to mention that note? 
researching Pokemon myths. I sure you know how I'm down in the town's abyssal ruins. Yeah, I've been there, done that. And she also also want to investigate them. In order to get to know each other better as trainers, I'd like to have a Pokemon match. Would you care to be my opponent? Aw, oh, heck yes! Before I send out my Pokemon, my heart always begins to race. Interesting. My Pokemon and their Pokeballs are radiating a happy feeling. Are you the reason? What are you? I'll tell you what I am. I am your opponent! Cause here we go, the battle with Cynthia, the Pokemon, the Generation 4 Champion. She's gonna start off with her Spiritomb. Her Spiritomb is one of the few Pokemon that has no weaknesses. Well, the Spiritomb in general, not just hers. Cause that would be super special if it was just hers. It's resilient and it has no weaknesses. Uh, it's uh, rather defensive, it's defensive stats and special defense. Uh, uh, rather good. Yeah, it's got okay attack stats to back them up. It's downsides, it's got low HP. <laughs> it's got low HP, which really doesn't help the, uh, so far good no weaknesses and good, uh, great defensive stats. And it's also very slow, so if you can get a, a quick couple of hits, then you should be able to take it down in two hits at least. And if you're higher level than I am, it, should, it may even take one hit. Anyway, the spirit team is down. It's, it's also got double team, which, yeah, you know, kind of sucks. Invasion noobs! Anyway, time for her second Pokemon. And that spirit team, by the way, was a Generation 4 Pokemon at home. Uh, to Sinnoh, which is the generation from again. Hermine Lotic, a Generation 3 water type. The evolution of Feebas, which I mentioned a few times. You evolve Feebas using the Pokemon scale when it used to be evolved by Beauty. Oh, we paralyzed it, good. I normally hate Milotics because they a lot of Milotics have recover. Uh, but thankfully Cynthia's doesn't Whoa, geez. Uh it's got great special stats, good HP, so those alone make it a good special tank. And it's got great coverage moves too. Uh, but it's got lower defense, so you can take advantage of that if you want. Uh, I was talked about coverage moves. Oh boy, it's sending that the big boy out next. Uh, it's great co coverage moves. It's got the ice type blizzard for to deal with grass type moves, and it's got the ground type bulldozer to deal with electric types. And now for the Generation 4 Dragon and Ground type, Garchomp, a Pseudo Legendary. And it's Grounded Dragon, so it only has two weaknesses. And it's got great coverage to that to those effects. It's got Dragon Rush to deal with ground types, and it's got Oh, so close. It's got uh, Stone Edge to deal with any ice types you might. Because it's got a quad weakness to ice, which kinda sucks for a pseudo legendary half. But it's got Stone Edge to deal with that. Yeah, it's got high attack and it's very fast, so, well, fast at least. But it's got lower special defense, so if you've got something with an ice beam that isn't gonna uh, be killed straight away, like my Dekiki here, especially if you're not using an ice type exclusively, then there you go, that gotcha is too bad. And it's level 77, so one of the three highest level Pokemon in the game. And now for her next Pokemon, Electros, and this kind of replaces a Pokemon from her past generation. Because this is a generation 5 Pokemon, so she obviously didn't have it last generation. Electros is resilient because it's got no weaknesses because it's even though it's electric type, it's got levitate, so it's ground type weaknesses uh, neutralized. It's got no weaknesses and it's great offensively, which uh, is one of my favorite Pokemon actually. But it's rather slow, so you, if you can get hits in, then there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, for her full Pokemon, also a Generation 5 Pokemon, which has been replaced somebody else. Breveri. Hey, that's one of my Pokemon. But two of her Pokemon I rather like. Jeez. Great minds think alike, I guess. She's got... It's got high attack and good HP, but it's got low attack defensive, so... If, uh... If you can get some uh, hits in, you can probably get two hits on you. Two uh, fast and powerful hits on you. But otherwise, you can pretty much deal with it quite easily. Now for her Lucario, this one can normally be quite bad, especially with great move sets. Uh, although, even though it's got a, uh, it's still got a good move set at least, but it's not, it's not got the great coverage. It's Generation Four Steel and Fighting type with great offenses, and it's rather fast. A very good fighting type overall, but it's got all Steel's weaknesses and. It's got low defenses, so... 
Yeah, flamethrower, earthquake, or a brick break or something. A high jump kick can deal with it. And there you have it, my favourite fight in the game. Also, it's worth noting that if you can beat Cynthia here, you're pretty much ready for the Pokemon League because her level's the same as the champions. You certainly bear a resemblance to that trainer who faced Giratina. Aha! Pokemon Platinum reference! I love her piano music too. So crazy. And she stays here during spring and summer. She'll be here in the villa in both of those seasons. And in spring, you can fight her every day. And, and in both spring and summer, you can see a load of other characters here in the villa. Along with Caitlyn, who reminisces about the battle, uh, her days in the battle tower back in Sinnoh. Which is interesting. And with that awesome battle out of the way, there is now nothing standing between us and the Pokemon League. So thank you for watching, and see you next time when we'll start our second round with the Elite Four.